Hey all, my name is Arjun and today I am going to show you uh, how you can calculate the year over growth or YOY growth uh, for of the sales uh, at quarter level and then do the conditional formatting of the sell ground uh, based on the value of the YOY growth. So here is a final uh, output that you can see uh, which shows uh, the legends, let's say the bad, I mean the red colored and good is in green colored and optimal is in orange. So uh, this says like if the YOY growth is less than some, there is a uh, negative values or less than condition is there. So if it is that, then it should show bad uh, or the red color background or else it's a green colored background or for uh, another percentage uh, optimal background so based on that so uh, this is the final output and uh, i will show you how you can create this uh, kind of tables uh, yeah so i'll take a new sheet for first first and then uh, so i'll take uh, category subcategory subcategory then order date here Okay, give it quarter level and then uh, sales, right? Uh, let's take automatic. Okay, I'll just take it discrete. So this is a normal sales that you can see. Uh, what I will do, I'll restrict it for uh, eight quarters. So I have the index calculated field ready here only. Um, so I'll just drag it. I'll show you how it collect. Just take the index formula, then do it. I'll drag the index formula to filter, and I'll show only the. eight quarters okay entire we will give uh, I think how much we have three six nine we have uh, so take from nine nine to sixteen okay so after that I need to calculate the uh, yoy here so I'll go create calculated field y o y sales growth percentage. So I'm going to take his uh, sales, right? So I'll take Z sum of sales. I'll write Z in. Yeah, and then uh, you need to take the uh, four quarters back. So how you will do it is uh, take uh, sum of sales. Before that, you write lookup formula. Sum of sales. Uh, How is four quarter back you have to look right and then write ZN here as well okay and give minus one okay why wo why why wo why this is our why wo why I'll just remove that and now you can see this is a percentage y o y growth okay uh, so now I need to create a one more calculated field to make the legend color y o y sales growth 
लेजेंड क्रोथ परसेंट लेजेंड वट इज द कंडीशन इफ इफ दिस इज ग्रेटर देन पॉइंट सिक्स देन इट्स गुड एल्स इफ वाई वो वाई ग्रोथ सेल्स इज ग्रेटर देन पॉइंट थ्री एंड वाई वो वाई सेल्स ग्रोथ इज लेस देन और लेस देन और इक्वल टू पॉइंट सिक्स देन optimal else if y o y growth is less than 0.3 then bad else if y o y growth is null then null okay yes this is the calculated field so now drag to color choose the colors bad is a red color i'm going to choose you can add it in the custom color also so that suppose if you are working on so many things uh like if you have the multiple or da uh, dashboard or tables with the same legends in that case you can add it to custom colors so you can reuse it after also after when you are going to the second table or like that okay and uh, then uh, for good i'm taking a green color okay the green color okay and then optimal i'm going to take orange this one to custom colors you can choose it like the here okay uh, this way okay uh, like that okay fine uh, so now i got all the colors uh, i need to create that uh, a background color, uh, color to change instead of the uh, the numbers or the labels so what i will do is uh, since i have don't have a number of records in this table uh, field i will just uh, i have created earlier calculation for a dummy calculated field i just given one number one so this way you can do it and drag it to the size here and then choose the minimum okay then um choose the bar keep it maximum okay and uh, now you if you want a uh, quarter is fine and if you want any filters you can do that uh, take filters like this and now if you want the borders you want to give a border for this go to cell and choose the borders okay mm. yes uh then if 
we want to give a null separate colors if you want to give any light colors or something like that you can do it for null values um, that's it uh, i hope well, what i've shown in this video you have understood and uh, thanks thanks for watching